Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Farid Ayman bin Amiruddin and my methods number is DGD191010 and today I will present about lighting in photography. First, what is light? Technically speaking light, more specifically visible light, is part of electromagnetic wave spectrum. It is usually referred as visible light which is visible to human eyes and responsible for the sense of sight. Light in photography are what the color are in painting. In painting, there is a canvas a material where the image will be reproduced, color, the medium for creating image, and a brush, a tool which is used to apply colors on canvas. In photography, you can say that color is light, brush is lens, and canvas is sensor or film. When light strikes, the color of the object we see in the natural world is the result of the way objects interact with light. When a light strikes an object, it can be absorbed, reflect or transmit by the object. All objects have a degree of reflection and absorption. It is due to selective deflection and sometimes due to transmission that give color to different surface. All three of the properties have different use in photography industry. Reflection amount to the ambient nature of natural light. Sun is the only major source in nature, but most surface reflect light that come from sun acting as pseudo source. It is also used to make reflectors. It's the basic of how we see colors and use in bonds of flesh. Transmission is the basic of making equipment like diffusers, filters, and gels. Absorption is mainly used to block light for subtractive lighting. In natural world, light can also be transmitted by an object with no effect, example X-ray, however, they have no visual effect. Reflection Reflection most common and most used property of light. One of the most common use is when fresh light is bounced off the ceiling or a wall to obtain a diffuse soft light on the surface. For photography purpose, we can classify it into two broad categories, regular reflection and diffuse reflection. Reflection on a smooth surface, light bounce of the surface of a material at an angle equal to the angle of incoming light wave Example, mirror or glass. Scatter or diffuse reflection. Light wave bounce off at many angles because the surface is uneven. Example, earth. That is why sky is blue. Absorption. Light stops at the object and does not reflect or refract. Object appear dark or appear the energy does absorb manifests as heat. Absorption is useful in subtractive lighting technique. Example food. Transmission. Transmission is when light pass through the surface, filters or just work on selective transmission. And transmission have three types. First one is direct transmission. When light goes through an object and no change in direction or quality takes place, for example, glass or air. The second one is diffuse transmission. When light goes through a transparent or semi-transparent object with texture, example, frosted glass, light will be softer, less contrast, less in intensity. And the last type of transmission is Selective transmission. When light goes through a color object, a portion will be absorbed and another portion will be transmitted through this object. 
Refraction is when light goes through the object and bends at an angle. Example, diamond with the angle of water as an angle. Type of light First one is key light. As the name suggests, this is the most important light. Key light defines the shadow in a composition. All the other light are placed according to the key light. Second one is fill light. A fill light is used to open up the shadows. Ideally, fill light doesn't have its own shadow as it is generally less in intensity than the key light. And the third one is kicker, rim, or extend light. Light that outline the surface and separate the subject from the background. These lights are also known as sad light or hair light depending on where they are placed. This light help in popping the subject out. This light contributes to the lightest tones and specular highlight. Type of lighting First one is front lighting. Key light is directly behind the camera giving the subject an even exposure. This kind of lighting is more simple and easy to meter. In natural light condition, we can see this type of light in first hour after sunrise and last few hours of daylight. Second one is side lighting. Key light is coming from one side. Front lighting might render a subject two-dimensional. Side lighting gives it a volume and three-dimensional look. This evokes strong response from the audience, especially when taking portrait. And back lighting. Still hope pictures are best example of this kind of lighting by adding fill light it can be used beautifully for portrait where backlight act like a rim right.